Hello everybody, welcome to episode 8 of our Witcher playthrough. My name is Klaus, welcome to my house, and uh, I just want to preface this with saying you have... Oh my god, that glass was floating. Oh my god, things are float. This place is haunted. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Anyways, I want to preface this by saying that I am not playing anybody new per se. This is all starting out... Um, from the uh, Horson Jr. questline. <clears throat> now, I played all four people that were possible, except I lost to two of them. Instead of drawing that episode out further than it already was, because it's about 40 minutes, um, and since it was all Gwent related, I figured we'll move the storyline along there and we'll just finish the Gwent matches up here to start uh, episode 8. So, that being said, if you want to see those and you haven't already checked out the Witcher series, just the playthrough itself, go check out episode 39 because all that video is is Gwent. So if you don't want to spoil the plot or anything like that, it's just me walking around playing Gwent. So anyways, let's get this one going um, and see how it goes. These guys are, are big, big rollers here. Deal so in, there's no five. There is only 50. Um, that is going to be our midway point which is customary for us. Uh, so I was going through this and doing some checklist stuff, just seeing what was left. We have a lot of the Northern Realm stuff. Uh, still quite a bit of neutral cards. Um, I saw the monster cards were mostly populating themselves in Skellige, which we have not been there yet. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I think most of the Nilfgaardian and Northern Realms guys, and even Squatel to a certain extent, uh, are, are located primarily in Velen and Novigrad. So let us continue, and we'll see if we can do better against this guy the second time around. All right, so I'm going first. Not my, not my preference, but uh, we'll take it. We have a good combination here. Um, do we have a commander's horn? Yeah. All right. I'm uh, not super, super keen on everything. I think we can get rid of Zoltan. Okay, so that'll be good. And um, you don't have your partner either, so we'll retry you. And we got a Scorch, so that'll be good. Uh, especially when he starts just laying down all the things. It's never, ever good for us. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to see what he places down, and we're going to decoy out of it. I like this starting move. Uh, it always always makes me feel good when they just buy the trap. Ah, uh, except he does not buy it. So pull them out of his hand, please. Okay, that's not that's not terrible. Now Last time I did this, I actually bit. On the first round, I was like, oh, we'll just lay down these, we'll get the combo, we'll, we'll end up being above them. And we were. We were. It, it, it did work out. Um, the issue here is I don't have the same setup. So before I had archers, and I was able to get 25, double it to 50, and just blow them out of the water. Um, I don't necessarily want to do that again here. I think it's possible. I do think it's possible. But... We run the risk of this muster ability, uh, which is just really, really not not good for our health, you could say. Um, I think probably the smart thing to do is going to be to pass here. We'll just let him take that first round. If he wants to be aggressive, we can keep playing, but that's, that's a little... Uh, a little too much for our blood. Now, the thing is, we are stuck. We have to win these last two. Um, which is not the best situation to be in. Um, now, what I'd really like him to do is buff up this first row, because they're all fours. Perfect. All right, this is going to be really good for us. We're going to scorch this asshole. Pardon my French, but that that is too much for my liking. 
and we're not going to do that. All right, great. So we only have to. Do we have anything important here? No. Okay, good. We're not going to use him, right? Because then with Yennefer, we won't be able to bring him back. What we're going to end up doing is just going to barely take the win. So we're just checking my math here. Yeah. Five plus four is nine. All right. In the long run, I think that first round paid off. Um, unfortunately, he kept that guy, but uh, such is the challenge when you play a monster deck. So I'm going to first lay down this card and we'll just see what he does. Now again, I'm scared of Scorches uh, because those have always come back to bite us in the butt. Uh, he did use up the commander's horn. So that is what it is. We'll uh, just slowly start putting some of this stuff down. Torrential rain. Okay, this is good for us. So basically what this is going to allow us to do is even if he puts it down a Scorch, we can just fill up this whole back row and then clear it right at the end. Ooh, those are some good cards you got yourself there. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how this all pans out in the end. All right, great. So he passed. Now, basically, what we're going to be able to do now is use our ability to clear the field. All right, so we're still we're still behind him, but uh, not by a whole lot. And uh, yeah, we're gonna bring you back. And there we go. We're gonna take the win on this one. So this went much much better than the first time around. Ooh, yeah, that felt good. Yeah, because that guy absolutely creamed us, and the other guy as well. Um, the Squirtle guy was was pretty difficult. So we have luckily taken this one out. We definitely had a lot of room to spare in this third round, uh, and we got lucky that he went light on us in the uh, in the second there. But that Scorch, ooh, man, that Scorch was great. All right. So with these particular, I win. Uh <laughs> Don't you think I know that? Want a rematch? What well, whip? You've left me high and dry. I'll not bet half a crown more. Hello everybody, welcome back to the second round of episode 8 of Gwent. Now, this guy thoroughly crushed us last time when we played him in episode 39 of the Witcher playthrough. Um, again, I want to bring that something up real quick. Once we win uh, a round, and it happened on the last guy as well in the first round, so I, I apologize if the editing there is kind of iffy, um, but it jumps straight into the continuation of the quest line. So what's going to happen is I'm going to have to end it really quick after we beat this guy. And then we're going to jump straight into episode 4 of the playthrough. So if you want to see uh, the original match against this player, then please go back and watch episode 39 of the Witcher playthrough. Uh, otherwise, we are going to get this on. And yeah, there is there is no, no low betting here that we're going to allow ourselves to do. 50 is, is right where we want to be. Want to play? Naturally. Good luck. Too. Yeah, I'm gonna need it because this guy is not easy. He has a really crazy deck. So he has both the Squirtle perk and he has the perk that allows him to go first. Oh, sorry, the uh, the the draw. So he's first and draw. Yeah, my head is so out of this right now. I've been getting thoroughly thrashed by both of these guys enough times to where I can't think straight. Uh, the problem is he just has really, really strong cards. Um, I think we want to keep this guy because he's he has a, a spy that's just going to give him a card advantage if he if he gets it. My guess is he did because I played him twice now. He uh, he always gets it. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Let's see what we want to do. I I think this is okay. 
It's not the best. Um, I think we'll get rid of Zoltan. Okay, Kira, I don't like you. Ah, I didn't really help. But, uh, what are you gonna do, right? Okay, so... That is acceptable. What I want to do is play this and just hope that he is going to give up, as it were. Go for it, dude. I don't, I don't care. Okay, so I have two medics. I think what we do is we continue to press. And if we don't see it coming out in our favor... Oh, come from his hand. Please come from his hand. Okay, so some of them did. Some of them didn't. We're going to play another one. And are you going to pass? You did pass. Can I beat this guy with two cards? Well, uh, it doesn't look like it. This is only going to get me to 26. Um, well, I don't particularly want to pass it up. The problem that we're going to have is that we're going to have to play three cards, right? That's going to put us down to six. We're going to win one, uh, one card back anyway just because that's our perk. It'll put us on an even 7. Now, if he has a Havokar healer, then he's going to bring back Dijkstra. Which we could use the decoy on and reuse against him. The problem is if he has another uh, spy just, just waiting in his hand right now. We have a significant card advantage over him. I'm thinking that the best thing to do now is to pass. If we can end up beating him in the end, the last two rounds, we always have the decoy, so yeah, we, we, we could do it. I apologize for not finishing a whole lot of thoughts, but... Hmm... This is a tough call, but I think the proper move here is to pass. And then when we bring Yennefer and the Medic in, we're going to get these guys back anyways. Um, and he's not at the point where he's wasting cards anymore. It's a very, very tough call, but we're going to have to throw the first round. And then he'll he'll lead off, so we'll, we'll be in a place where we can respond to what he's playing. Okay. Well, it's not necessarily going to help our cause. See if he is gonna lay down more of the uh, the weather cards, which I don't think he will, because he's stacking this first row. Unless he's got something waiting here. No, well, there it's a hero card, so it's possible. The question now is. How much does he want to play? Yeah, are you gonna use Dijkstra? Good. My thought exactly. Who are you bringing back? Okay. Give me a commander's horn or something. Okay, that's fine.
Okay, I'm actually pretty happy with this. He's got a pass. Yeah. So, what we're gonna do is... See where we're sitting. In the larger scheme of things. We are down by 20. I think we might be able to pull this off. Let's do that. We're going to pull back in either one. It didn't matter. And then we'll lay down these guys. And we'll take that round. Oh man, the heart is beating, I'll tell you that. This is a this is an intense round. This is not an easy person to beat. Um, and these are really, really high stakes, because we don't even get a card. We're, we're basically just getting money. And since we already lost to him once, we're only going to break even. So, it is what it is. Let's see what he's got. Okay. There we go. We're, we're gonna pull it out, guys. Jeez. That was that was tough. We're, we're gonna do the combo. I wanted to lay down Yen. We we're gonna come over here, and we were gonna grab our other medic. That medic would trigger, and we'd come back and grab the catapult. And in one turn, we just put 20 points on the field, playing one card. This is what I like about the Northern Realms deck, and this is why I keep trusting it. I mean, the the cards are there, the power is there. It, it's not 100%, but it pulls through when you need it to. And we're going to pull through right here. Alrighty, guys. So I'm going to see you in the next round. It might be a little while before we get there. I don't quite know where we're going. Like I said, the minute that we exit here is the minute that the next quest triggers. Hello everybody, welcome back for another round of Gwent. Alrighty, enough of the intro. We are going to play Ioana. She is the blacksmith's apprentice at Crow's Perch. I did some reviewing of uh, our position in the, you know, the rankings of all the people that play Gwent in this world. And um, I, I, I missed quite a few. I, I, I've played a lot. I have played a lot, but... There are several people that I have yet to come in contact with for a nice round of Gwent. So, we are going to go on and continue our cleaning up of everybody around here. We are obviously going to bet the five. I mean, it is what it is, am I right? Up for a few rounds of Gwent? Now... We, we've been doing very well with our Northern Realms deck, but um, I'm finding that these battles are a little easy, you know? The, the opponents, are, they're not terrible, but, uh, you know, they're not quite at the level of the Novogradians that we've been playing. Uh, as such, I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll play as the Nilfgaardian Empire. Um, this deck is no slouch. It's it's fairly fleshed out, um, you know. But uh, all that being said, um, you know, it's it, it's good enough, I believe. So we're gonna use this Nof Guardian deck, and we are gonna see if we can stomp some face. Ooh, she's monsters. This will be interesting. Um, where the Nof Guardians are quite strong 
the monsters have the ability to swarm. So we're going to have to have some pretty good draws, I would imagine. On top of that, they keep one monster at the end of the round. Really? Trading them out. Uh, okay, so we got ourselves a decoy. I, I kind of wanted to get rid of one of these commander's horn, but... Um, such is life, am I right? Um, let's place one of these guys down and just see what he is going to do. Okay. Don't want to waste that. That is understandable. So we will pull our guy back. Alright. And, um... All in all, it might be a good idea to save the Scorch. But I, I kind of don't want to. I'm thinking that we use it here and we'll end up wasting less unit cards in the long run. Right, so now he's wasted the Commander's Horn, essentially, and we can just lay down somebody that uh, we don't really care about. We'll pass and we'll win the game. Aw, oh, yeah! And the good part about that is he didn't keep a monster. Uh, so, we're gonna lead off with a little bit of a siege. Ooh. Alrighty, I did not expect that. Um. Hmm. Alright. Pull him from the hand. Pull him from the hand. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wa wa wee wa. Yeah, we might as well, right? Play some more of your mustering, guys. Um, yeah, there ain't no way. Ain't no way that we're going to be doing that. So let's just pass. Ah. Uh. Yeah, this one we're just gonna have to chalk up to a loss pretty much at this point, but we'll we'll see uh, we'll see what what it happens. Hmm, that's that's rough right there. Uh, let's use our ability and see what they got. Oh, yeah, there, there ain't, there ain't no way in hell. Alrighty. Well, we'll just. Yep. Yep. It is what it is. That's about all we got. We were definitely outclassed, ladies and gentlemen. Um, ain't, ain't no coming back from that one. Ah, but it is what it is. It ends in defeat. Uh, quite a handy defeat as well. Um, as you can see from those numbers, Yana was not struggling to take us down. Not in the least. Um, the draw was acceptable, to be honest with you. Uh, I think this just comes down to my general dislike of the way that the Nilf Guardians play. Um, I think another thing I could do is maybe switch out and get some of those medics in there. The other thing is they lack spies, so there's no real uh, card drawing potential at this point. There is a hero card that we can pick up, but that's not until we reach Skellige, and that is quite a ways away. So we'll be back to face Joanna once again. I'm just going to try and take a look at our Northern Realms deck and see how it can handle this monster deck. Until then.
Alrighty, lady. You can help me by granting me a rematch in some Gwent. Now, we could break even and bet the five. However, I'm feeling a little bit risky today. We're gonna pop this up to six. Ah? Uh, ah? Uh, anybody? Ah? Uh? Nah, we're going to ten. Fuck that. You know? Go big or go home. Rounds of Gwent. Go big or go home! Stay in the Rip headphone the users. Like this. Actually, I don't even know if that's gonna be loud or not. But, we're going uh, Northern Realms. We're not messing around anymore, okay? We're, we're done playing these, these little games. You heard me. Good. I like going second. This is already starting out well. Uh, we're going to redraw you, because I only need one. Um, not bad overall. Definitely not bad overall. Um, the decoy is nice. We might be able to pull something off like the last round. Uh, the clear weather. Uh, it may come in handy. It may. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's to be seen. Um... What would we like to do here? I think what we would like to do is redraw this blue stripe commando. Uh, if anything, we're just going to get another one of these guys and we're in no worse off position. Otherwise, we're going to get a better card. This, I believe, is our lowest attack power. Good. We got Vestimir. So that'll boost us up on the front there. Okay. Welcome, Mr. Frightener. We are going to play Vesemir. Okay, I think now what we want to do, since he just used that ability, I think it tells me that he does not have another commander's horn. And the second thing is we might be able to get her to filter through quite a bit of her cards right off the get-go. The important thing to remember here is that we have Yennefer lying in wait. So next round, if need be, we can always come back and grab somebody. Now, what we should do is lay down Vess, right? What I'm thinking we'll do Oh, man, I would have really liked if uh, he had gone ahead and done something a little bit differently there. What I was going to do is use the decoy and then just res one of these guys later on. So they're going to they're gonna pass. Um, well, it would be pretty simple just to take the win with the commander's horn. Uh, the bad side about that is that we waste our commander's horn. We are only five attack away. Um, no, you know, I think the safest bet here is going to be just using the uh, commander's horn on that first row and taking the win. Probably should have done that in the first place, but I was trying to save it. Alright, so not too bad. Not too bad at all. We'll lay that down. We'll see what they're going to do. Okay. Um, now, the thing that we can do is use our decoy and maybe, just maybe, try and trick this guy into laying some more stuff down and we're just passing. Well, that doesn't make me a happy camper. Okay, this is good enough for me. I think what we're going to do is take the loss. We're just going to pass it. Hopefully one of these fours stick around. That was a... Uh, well, that is what it is. It's kind of a no-brainer in my mind. 
Um, I know everyone may not agree with that. But it is what it is. And uh, this is good for both of us, so I still have a five card advantage here over his two cards. Oh, and it seems like he maybe doesn't have a whole lot. Now, if it is a Scorch, then he's only going to take out his own guy. So he's probably going to... Okay. Yep. No biggie. No biggie there. We're going to take care of this. No problemo. We will lay down Yennefer. And we're going to get back Senor Vesemir. And that will put us one above her. And... We're going to take this win. Not uh, not the highest scoring game, but I think this is probably one of our more strategic. She was not overly aggressive. Um, knew when to quit, knew when to keep going. Uh, definitely well versed in the cards that she had. Now, by no means was her original draw as successful as the previous match. Um, and we definitely lucked out a little bit on this. So let's see what we're going to get. We did make back some good old money. And that's always nice. And we got the K-Rand. Ah! That is going to be, I think, an 8 attack um, monster card. So this will be nice. Ah, it is. Oh, and it's like one of those boosty cards. So that's good. Let's just start throwing everything in there. We'll, we'll eventually get there. Uh, the one thing that I do want to point out to you guys, uh, like I was saying earlier, I was looking at guides online to find cards so I could try and flesh out some of these other decks um, and, you know, other Gwent players and whatnot. The one thing about the monster cards is that they are primarily located in Skellige. That is both good and bad. Um, they're basically all sitting in one place. So that's the good. Uh, it is not going to take a whole lot of time to really uh, grab all of these monster cards. The one thing that is unfortunate, though, is, uh, you know, I can't wait all the time. And I went there um, last night. Uh, it moves along the story in such a way that inhibits the actual playthrough. So we may not be going there for a little while until we wrap up everything over here in Novigrad and Velen. And by everything, I'm not saying every little detail, but more or less, we're going to spend a little bit more time in Novigrad and Velen until it feels natural to move ourselves over to Skellige in, um, in the actual playthrough itself. So until then, we're just going to kind of have to stick with Skoyatel, Nilfgaardian, and uh, Northern Realms cards. Uh, but like I said, I'll, I'll try and get over there when it, when it feels right uh, for, the, for the walkthrough series. So I'm going to end this episode of Gwent here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, hope you had a good day, good night, whatever it is to you. I'll see you back here next time. Goodbye.